Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Now in today's video I'm going to be giving you a quick update on how I'm doing with trying to grow my hair and the products that I am currently using at the moment and what I'm loving. If you are not already a subscriber then please do click the link down below, go right on ahead and subscribe to the channel but let's get right on into the video. So if you didn't see my previous video where I posted about trying to grow my hair and the products that I have been using then I I will leave a link up above down below so you can go right on ahead and catch that video um, so I just wanted to give you a quick update in the hope that maybe some of the products may help you if you're also struggling to grow your hair um, and if you have like fine hair like mine so my hair is quite fine it's quite thin I can't really do a lot with it and I've kind of pretty much had my own natural hair out since the beginning of lockdown so I've been wearing extensions for years years and years and years and as you can imagine it uh, is not great for the hair damages the hair and so now I'm trying to repair the damage that I've gone and done so as you can see at the moment the fro is not too bad I do feel like it is growing a little bit my hair does not grow very fast but I think the biggest problem um, is that I haven't been very good with maintaining the growth so even though obviously with afro hair you have the shrinkage problem so you know our hair is longer than what it looks like sometimes it can be frustrating because you think it's not growing but it actually is so i just wanted to share with you a few products that i am currently using at the moment so starting with this one which is by a company called retro rich um this was recommended by quite a number of people and my daughter actually went to school with the uh the young woman that created this brand lacy um and so firstly congratulations to her well done to her for creating such an amazing brand so um i thought i would try this out because this was highly recommended and this is the uh, retro rich royal roots leave-in conditioner so you can see the consistency of it there. It's very, very lightweight. Doesn't have a super strong smell to it. So if you don't like anything that's heavily scented, I think you were gonna love this. It's not, it's nice, it's really pleasant, but it's not like super, super strong. And basically it says it's a wonderful blend of raw shea butter, argan oil and aloe vera leaf juice, which combine together to create um, our moisturizing leave-in conditioner. It's especially designed to detangle, hydrate, and soften your tresses without weighing your hair down. So um, this is really, really lovely. So I use this once I've kind of like washed my hair and everything, then I'll, I'll use this um, and leave it in. I did also pick up the hair mask, but my daughter has swiped that from me. <laughs> so I don't have that here to show you, but I did also pick pick up the retro rich hair mask which is also lovely so once I've washed my hair I put on the hair mask um, leave that on for about 20 minutes wash that off and then I'll go in with um, with the leave-in conditioner and this is really really lovely and then also from the same brand I've got their Empress hair butter as well this is kind of like their go-to product this is one that everybody raves about talks about um, and it is really really lovely um, it's got in it a shea butter um, grapeseed oil sunflower oil a number of different oils um, vitamin E it's got a whole load of goodies um in here and this is really really nice too but the consistency of this is obviously a bit thicker than the leave-in conditioner um and basically you just grab a little bit and you just warm it in your hands and it just softens up and then you put it in your hair so i've been using this more so kind of at night time so when i'm you know putting my hair away i'll damp it with some water and then i'll um put some of this in my hair and then in the morning it is so soft like like i said my hair is quite fine it's quite thin so i can't put too many products in it i can't make it too heavy so i have to be really careful because i think sometimes i'm overloading it with um products um so i have to be careful but this is really really nice really lovely so if you haven't tried retro rich then i would definitely recommend um trying it it's really really lovely um really affordable as well i think because i think it lasts quite a while 
um so i think for the price point and the size of each of the um jars these are like glass jars the size of each jar these are going to last you a while obviously depending on how long your hair is how much you use it all that good stuff because i've got short hair so i think it's going to last me quite a long time so definitely check out retro rich um products so alongside that, I also wanted to show you this, which is the Goddess Glow Body Butter. And this is divine. This is so lovely. To me, this is like, I, you know, I don't see a lot of people talking about this when they talk about Retro Rich. But to me, this product is like my go-to, go-to for my skin. It is gorgeous. Smells absolutely gorgeous. What is in this? Oh, it's the mango. Mango seed butter, shea butter, apricot kernel, coconut oil, almond oil. Oh, all that good stuff is inside here. You can see how much I've used. I'm going to need another one. Um, but this is divine and it's so it makes your skin so soft and so lovely and smooth without being greasy and oily because that's one of the things i realized with shea butter it's hard to get shea butter right because it can be too heavy and too thick but this is kind of like a moussey kind of consistency and it is just divine so alongside the hair products definitely check them out but also please 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 check out this body butter this is fantastic and then finally as well, not forgetting this, this is the Empress Hair Growth Oil. And again, I've been using this um, mainly on my scalp and, and just on my edges as well um, to try and help because I'm really, I feel like I'm struggling a little bit with the edges, to be honest. It doesn't feel like they're really growing that much. And when I spoke to my hairdresser, she said, look, you do have hair there, so she's not over worried. It will come back. Um, but it's taking a while. <laughs> it's so frustrating because I'm, you know, I put all sorts of oil on. People say, you know, Jamaican black castor oil, all sorts of oil I've tried. I'm trying everything at the moment. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not growing as fast as I would like. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm using this at the moment, which again is lovely. Um, and I just kind of like gently massage it into the scalp um you know a, a couple of times a week i will use this i try not to use too much because like i say my hair is quite fine and so i don't want to weigh it down with too many products but yeah this is also great so i definitely recommend you check this out too and then another product that i'm really loving at the moment is this one and um, this is aunt jackie's not on my watch and um this is lovely this is so nice it's for detangling the hair now my hair doesn't really get that tangle because it is quite fine quite thin so it doesn't really get that tangly to be honest but again um i alternate between this and the um cheap butter of uh retro rich at night time so one night i'll uh put this on after I've damped the hair a little bit and then the other night I'll put the retro rich um, tube butter on um, and um, both of them are great both of them when you wake up in the morning your hair is super super soft and um, yeah it just really helps with those tangles and everything and just to moisturize the hair so that's the thing I'm trying to do at the moment is just even if I'm over moisturizing it do not let it get dry just do not let my hair get dry <laughs> because it's the worst thing and it will cause more breakage so um this is lovely lovely oh smells divine as well what on earth is in this but this smells gorgeous too oh it's quite a few ingredients and i can't tell which one is giving the smell <laughs> but anyway <laughs> take my word for it it smells gorgeous so definitely check this out and then finally i just wanted to give a shout out to this water bottle very unusual it is fabulous i love it it's really easy simple to use just a couple of pumps here of whoo <laughs> i don't know if you saw that but um yeah just a couple of sprays of this and it just gives such a lovely kind of like misty misty spray this is fantastic i picked this up um, off of amazon i'll leave a link down below so you can go and check it out if you want it but i just thought it was super chic super stylish um and just uh, at night time when i'm dampening my hair i just give a couple of sprays of this and i'm all done and good to go so that is it that's my current update with what i'm using on my hair at the moment 
moment so if you've got like fine hair like mine um if you're trying to grow your hair then um check out some of these products because you know i'm feeling the difference definitely in the quality of the hair like my hair feels so moisturized and so soft i do wish it was a bit thicker but it is what it is you know <laughs> after years of extensions and all sorts you know you just have to work with what you've got so yeah if you've tried any of the products let me know down below what you also think of them um but if not go and check them out they are fantabulous you're gonna love them so um yeah and if you've got any other recommendations for me please do let me know so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i shall see you in the next one thanks so much for watching bye